the water fx here on the edge on the water so I will go inside my gen out sapphire plugins which as I told in the beginning is the new feature of Harmony 12 the possibility to use open fx inside Harmony and in this sapphire I will try to find the texture flu which shall be down somewhere like um, on the T texture flu here I will link it to my gradient which is for the sky and go inside the properties so inside these properties first thing I want to do is increase the frequency so it shall reduce the bubbles what's called the bubble I'm going I'm trying to move also the bubble amount so it is a bit um, smoother and maybe increase a bit the smooth okay reduce a bit the darkness for instance oh a bit too much okay so let's say it's convenient change a bit the color so it will fit with my background colors let's say it is okay so now I need to change it in perspective so another cool fx from Sapphire is the warp perspective which is here so I will use it plug it into my texture fl flux and as you see my element is straight in perspective because it has 35 angle of movement if I increase you can see that it will change so what I don't like is this small small lines if you look closely which are due to this tile wrap X and uh, Y so if I change it to reflect both of them I will have something you can see that it repeats but we won't see anything once totally in position so here is the perfect crop and now I will just change the perspective angle so it will fit with my elements maybe it is a bit okay 88 and uh, I shall also move the origin the Y origin so this part is not that uh, close from the camera it's as you can see it moves it a little bit backward then once this is prepared then I will just try to create uh, a mask here to 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 um, fade out this part of the fx so I go here and here I press control plus R and control plus R is the creation of new drawing add drawing layer which I will call uh, ripples mask for instance maybe it's not the good word but everyone will understand what I mean I go and take these oops and I can draw straight on the rendered picture so let's do it like this 
Then I add a radio blur, something really, really easy. Oh, I forgot one thing while doing it is to let's go inside the drawing. Where is my drawing? Here it is. So I remove it and I will do it again. Sorry for this mistake. So I reduce that. Let's say like this. Okay. Take down the blur to five. Seven. Okay, and what I want is my element to be seen outside this ripple mask. So let's go inside the combine. Use a cutter once again out, and here it is. I see my element fading away.